Hey guys, it's me, and I know you guys have been waiting all week for this. I've built it up and up, and I know most of you are praying this is not like a, you know, new vlogging schedule announcement, because it's, it's much bigger than that. So I appreciate you guys hanging in with me all week with these daily vlogs. It's been a lot of fun. And without further ado, I'm... really really mean uh i'm moving i got a new job in mina arkansas and i will be the editor of a small weekly newspaper there it's a town of about six thousand people kind of out in the middle of nowhere it takes um it's, it's near the oklahoma border so it's it's out that way you know it's all the way across the state from where i am now and um it takes about an hour and a half to get to anywhere you know little rock or um, literally anywhere that has a population of more than like 2,000. So, um, I'm leaving in two weeks. It's, uh, I went two weeks ago and interviewed for the position in Mina and everything's been kind of spiraling since then. It's a, it's a neat town. It's a neat little paper. I'm a little concerned that it's kind of secluded but their readership level is really high, which may or may not mean anything to you, depending on how much you know about newspapers. But a lot of people in that town read the newspaper. And so it's, it's small. It's small. And I think it's a pretty good opportunity. Hopefully I don't, you know, piss someone very powerful off early on and then be, you know, <laughs> not able to do anything. Um, these, are, these are nightmares I have. Uh, but the, the good thing about it is that one I'll get a better title than a reporter in Columbus I was the lifestyles editor and I often ran the whole paper and here I'm just a reporter I just do my beats and I'm not really allowed to do anything else so in Mina I'll have creative control and I'll be in charge of the weekly paper I'll have one reporter under me and that's it so it's gonna be a lot of work um, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be fun though and I'm hoping I can handle it I no, you're thinking about money. What about money, budget girl? And there is more money. It's a $9,000 raise from what I'm currently getting. I currently make $26,000 a year um, base. Uh, I do get overtime here, so I end up making a little more than that. But this will be a salary position, and I'll make $35,000 a year. And that'll, that'll kind of increase my income just a tad. So I'll be able to put more towards my student loans and get out of debt faster. So I will be spending the next two weeks moving or, you know, packing and moving. I haven't actually started yet, really. I've, like, accumulated some boxes and that's it. Um, oh, there is, there is other good news. They are giving me $2,000 as a uh, moving reality, or moving expense thing. So um, it, is, it is reimbursement. So if you guys see me spending more than you think is probably completely necessary on moving stuff, um, it's because I'm being reimbursed up to $2,000 for my moving expenses. If I'd be doing it differently, if they were giving me $2,000 and I could spend that how I wanted and keep the rest, but because it's a reimbursement, I am trying to make this as easy on myself as possible. So I'm getting most of the stuff done through U-Haul. Um, I'll go ahead and buy boxes there, whereas before, you know, I, I like got boxes from work and, uh, you know, like off the side of the road, that kind of thing for the last move, you know, beg, bar and stole help. This time I'll be um, hiring uh, moving helpers on the day of to help load the truck, and it's hopefully going to be a little bit easier on me to do because, as you all know, moving sucks. But <laughs> I'm kind of getting bogged down in some of the details here. I'm going to let past me talk to you about what was going on in our minds when we were up in Mina because I shot some clips there and then I shot some clips after I got back. So I'm going to link those here and ask me any questions you have below, I guess. And it's a, it's a whole new chapter. It's a whole new apartment. It's a whole new everything. So... Rory and I are moving, you know, nine hours away. <laughs> We're in a state where we don't know anyone at all. <laughs> we 
Well, I didn't know anyone when I came here either, so I guess that's not a huge difference. Rambling again, and that's going to keep happening in these upcoming clips. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for hanging in there with me this week. I, I love you all, and you're definitely coming to Arkansas with me. Definitely coming. Um, so, let's keep on. Bye. Um, so, I don't know when exactly you're going to see this, but it is uh, Sunday for me. And I am in a hotel, or a motel actually, in uh, Mena, Arkansas, after driving all day long in five states, only four of which were intentional. <laughs> kind of three of which were intentional. I, uh, I have a job interview in about 11 hours to be the editor of a newspaper here in this little 10,000 folk town a weekly paper and it's actually a pretty cool little paper I got to check it out for the first time today I uh, I posted my resume on the journalism job website um, a couple weeks ago and I got a call from the publisher here in Mina and uh, he and I got along really well and he offered to put me up in a hotel for a couple nights to come interview officially and uh, see the town and see what I like and I had some vacation time coming up. I haven't taken any vacation this year at the paper, so I, I took this whole week off. And I went up to I came up to Jackson on Friday, and then I drove from Jackson to here, which is six and a half is supposed to be six and a half hours. It took me like eight hours. Uh, my arm got tired uh, today because I had to drive from Mississippi across or across Louisiana to Shreveport and then I had to go kind of through Texarkana and so it made me go through Texas for like 30 minutes and then at one point there was a, a road split where I was supposed to go this way and I went this way and I ended up in Oklahoma about a half hour out in this little Indian town called Broken Ben or Broken Bow and they laughed at me at the gas station when I was like how do I get back to Arkansas God, it was awful, and I'm so sunburnt, and I don't know if you can see this, but look at my leg. Can you see how badly I'm sunburnt? And right here, too, because my car doesn't, and a little on my face, so my car doesn't have air conditioning because it's my Dave car, and so I had to keep the window rolled down. Yeah, my car does this, too. I had to keep the window rolled down to get any air so I wouldn't pass out, and I put on sunscreen like every 10 minutes. And I just burnt to a crisp. And by the time I found out that I was in Oklahoma instead of Arkansas, I was about ready to just roll over on the side of the road and cry. Except that would be hot. So I had to get back on the road and drive like an hour and a half. I finally got here and it was too late to go anywhere to eat. So I went to Walmart and I got some like microwavable type food. And I got to tell you, this has not been the most budget friendly trip. I'm, I'm very blessed that I don't have to pay for my hotel, the newspaper's paying for my hotel, you know, whether or not I accept or get offered the position, um, that's kind of what you do in newspapers, they don't, you know, they're not going to pay my gas or anything, that's my input into it, but I've done this before, when looking for jobs, they'll invite you down to, after you've done an initial interview, and uh, they'll put you up for a day or two or a week or however, and when I was interviewing at the Jennings paper, uh, they put me up for a week, and I worked for them for a week, uh, and then they offered me, like, no money to work there, and so I had to say no. But they did pay me for the week, like, minimum wage, but still. I was unemployed at the time, so that was okay. Uh, there were worse ways to spend a week. And then I got the job in Hammond, so that was good. But that was two years ago, and there's no room for improvement. I mean, I mean like, getting promoted or getting a, a title back. I was a lifestyles editor and my paper in Columbus and am I getting random uh, <laughs> uh, and now I'm just a reporter and I want my title back and I want to get paid more and I'm just kind of getting tired of the work situation in Hammond it's not all bad um, a little bit of it's bad and I've, I've spent many a day coming home and just crying just to be real honest uh, just because of one particular person that works there that really doesn't like me and likes to make my life hell. But, other than that, Hammond's really fun. I love the people. If I get this job, I'd hate to leave my friends there, but 
got to move on, I guess. So, and I was hoping, again, to move to a bigger city, but if, this just seems really cool, and it would be a, a big old raise. Not like a huge, huge raise, but it'd be a pretty good raise. And I like the paper, and what I've seen of the town in the dark, I kind of like, there isn't anything around it. Nothing. So, um... I have no idea when I'm even going to post this clip. So I post it after I get the job. I can't post it until I like put in my two weeks notice at work if I get the job. Once again, counting chickens. That's really annoying me. So right now I'm putting together my um, hot book. I have a website, a work website, that I put like my clips and my... It's, it's basically an online portfolio and resume. And newspapers <laughs> seem to really like that because then I'm not dumping just a ton of massive files of like my PDFs and my portfolio on them and I just say like I respect your server here's a link to my website and it's got all my work stuff on it so that's that's been what has been what has sealed the deal for the past couple of jobs <laughs> that I've had so just think about that it's just a WordPress site I'm babbling but yeah this is my hotel room and let's see that's my dress for tomorrow uh, yeah, decent little motel. It's very clean. I like clean and I just took a bath as you can see because I look insane and I'm gonna do this and give myself a manicure and then I'm gonna go to bed and wake up early and go interview for this job and if I get this job then I'm gonna look for an apartment and then stuff's gonna happen. It's gonna be awesome and if not then that's okay. If it's yeah, if it's not a fit, that's okay. I'll find something else. Anyway, what I was talking about with the budget thing was I've, I haven't been, like, gas buddying the uh, cheapest gas along the route. I was more worried about actually just getting here. And um, I've just been stopping for food when I was hungry, so I will reconcile all the expenses here. Since there wasn't any food places open when I got in, I went to Walmart and I got some microwavable stuff. And I'm just going to reconcile all of that when I get back to Jackson on Wednesday. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. I'm going back to or when I probably won't do it this week. But, um, yeah. Other than, like, buying ice, just, like, bringing cups and just spending like 50, 60 cents on ice and water at gas stations instead of buying sodas. Um, hasn't really been a huge budget friendly trip. It also hasn't been a huge expense other than gas and I'll take that from my gas overflow fund. So that's almost eight rent minutes of completely just disjointed randomness in my PJs. So um, summer, I'm interviewing for a job. Uh, ice at gas stations or something, and having help, all of you watching this video. I'm gonna go now, because I'm obviously sunstruck or stoked or... Guys, I, um, I drove back from Mina today, and I'm in Jackson again, and I have to tell you, that was the worst drive I've ever done in my entire life. Driving around Hammond without air conditioning or even driving like down to New Orleans or up here to Jackson a couple hours is not that big a deal especially if it's done in the evening but for an eight and a half hour trip like I had to do to Mina is it's it's just dumb without air conditioning I got so sunburnt and on the way back I ended up feeling so sick like physically sick. I drank so much water and I was so hot. I just, I, I'm never making that drive again. If I move there, uh, I'll run a U-Haul truck and tow mine so I can sit in the air conditioned thing and I won't be coming back to Mississippi until, may I'll fly back if I have to, but I can't. I can't do that to myself again. I, I thought I was going to be physically sick. And I'll be surprised if I don't wake up tomorrow feeling like I've had the flu for a week. So, But I saw two apartments. One was a rat hole. The other was okay. And I applied for the okay one. 
and I, uh, when I got home, I checked my email, and I had my official employment offer from the Mina Star, and I had an email from a lady at the Realty Company saying, if you want the apartment, it's yours, um, go ahead and send us a check. So, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty much it. Looks like I'm going to be going to Mina. So, um, I can't leave my work until the 15th of next month or else I'll lose a significant portion of my 401k. Uh, if I leave before my two year mark then I lose I think it's 50% of the company match that they gave me but if I um, hit my two year mark then it's only 25% that I lose of the company match they gave me. So I'm also planning on giving my editor more than two weeks notice because it's very hard to find a new employee. So uh, I'll be discussing that with her and she deserves that consideration. She's been pretty good to me. So I'm back in Jackson. I'm so looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow morning because both days I was in Mina while the beds in the motel were really good. I've got Rory. Hang on, let me show you how cute she is right now. She's on my foot. Cause she's she's so happy to be next to me again. Uh, and that'll yeah, I'm gonna sleep in in the morning and uh, do some work on some stuff for that's running Bible school at church. And so I'm gonna help her with that tomorrow night. And I'm gonna start looking at stuff. So. Uh, I, I ran my budget numbers and with the raise and the estimated uh, cost of living difference, um, it looks like I'm going to be able to put about an extra $450 a month to my student loans, which is really, really cool. It's, that would make, uh, can I? multiplied out it would shave seven to eight months off of my debt by being able to put an extra 450 a month towards my debt so I could be debt free by July 2017 instead of February 2018 which is very exciting. I don't think I shared that number with you guys before because everything, it changes all the time, especially as the interest rate goes down and as I'm able to get extra income in. But what I did was I based it off of the $800 a month that I am currently putting towards my debt for my 10K 2015 challenge. And I cut some of that out on the multiplied out because I won't have any overtime since it's a salary position. And um, I won't be able to do secret shopping because it's the tiniest little town and it's not adjacent to anything and I am f pretty freaking certain that I won't be able to do anything like that there, especially not anonymously. So without secret shopping, without overtime, I will have gas reimbursement. I, uh, I will still get paid from YouTube if you guys keep watching. But <laughs> uh, I think I put it, instead of estimating $800 a month, I put it at about $600 a month from my regular budget plus $450 from my raise. So what I did was I took, I estimated the taxes that I'll be paying in Mina and I, and this wouldn't be a 4K, I mean 401K, I wouldn't be contributing to a 401K because there's no company match. So I'd be going to the actual Dave plan where uh, I wouldn't be contributing to a 401k while I was in debt. I'd just roll over what I currently have in my 401 and I wouldn't contribute anything else. But I would also take up the company on health insurance because you guys know I haven't had health insurance in years. It's too expensive in Hammond. It would be like three, four hundred dollars a month and that's that would eliminate what I'm paying to my student loans. That's just done. And so it would only be about $160 a month in MENA, which is fantastic because the company pays half. So I would take them up on that and I would have health insurance and I'd be in compliance with Obamacare and be able to actually go to the doctor 
which would be nice. So uh, after that, and I estimated an extra hundred dollars because the apartment I applied for is four hundred dollars a month instead of three fifty. So it's an extra fifty dollars a month, six hundred dollars a year, and I estimated an extra fifty dollars at least for uh, electricity, and I'd have to pay water at this place and gas. And right now that's all bundled, so. Um, the apartment wouldn't be quite as cheap. I didn't estimate a raise in grocery expenses or gas expenses or anything like that, but it looks like this could turn out really well, other than the whole being in the middle of nowhere thing. But, I'm, as, as my best friend Jamie told me, and y'all have met her in videos before, she, she says before I move I'm always like this. I'm like, Eeyore, oh, nothing's gonna work out. No, I refuse to get excited or get my hopes up until everything's set. But everything looks almost set. So, I'm starting to get excited, especially about the money and the creative control, but mostly the money. <laughs> um, I can't wait for you guys to see these clips. Uh, hopefully you won't be horribly bored by them. Do my teeth seem really white? Oh, no. No, they don't. So, I will be moving on August 15th, and my last day of work is August 14th. And, um, that's it. Uh, also, for those of you that uh, thought that I was getting a book deal, God bless you. <laughs> um, that would be really, really cool. But, no, that's not happening. Uh, I'm moving, and I have a new job, and it's going to be a whole new chapter. But this is not the end of Budget Girl. Um, I plan 100% on keeping vlogging on YouTube. It's... Um, why, why would I stop? So, it'll, it's, it's gonna be good, and, uh, I'll probably have, like, some book reviews or something like that that are pre-filmed to go up, um, kind of around the time that I'm moving, but I will keep you guys updated on Facebook. Please go check my Facebook, um, because I post on there pretty much every day, and, um, I may be able to, like, shoot, you know, throw some pictures up or something that takes a little less time than, uh, doing the video vlogs and I love all you guys on YouTube of course it just takes a minute and moving is high stress so I'll see you guys soon um, I'm going back to uh, basically weekly vlogging now where I, I upload one or two videos a week on whatever day I feel like it so <laughs> which keeps me from you know disappointing you guys if I said you know like on Monday Wednesday and then they came on whenever I felt like it so uh, keep keep hanging out thank you to all of my new subscribers and all my old subscribers, I love you all. I will see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen.